thanks so much for joining me for a 30 minute post workout post run practice today we are going to do a full body practice focusing on lengthening and stabilizing the muscles surrounding joints that you use for major exercises let's get started inhale fan both arms up reach up look up exhale bow hinge at your hips here slide your hands down your legs let your chin soften into your chest. Just shake your head out, no. And then nod your head, yes. Bend both knees. Let's ragdoll roll ourselves up slowly, pushing down through both feet. Take your time. Head up last. Do it again. Bend your knees, fan both arms up. Like a little backwards dive. Dive backwards, stretch out the spine. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands trace the legs. Reaching for the toes. Once again, you can do a little shake at the head or nod the head, releasing your cervical spine. Let's do a half lift. So you're gonna come up halfway, crown of the head to me, and then exhale, release. Bending both knees, step your right leg straight back on railroad tracks. Lower your right knee to the floor. Left knee is gonna stay right over the left ankle. Point your right toes to the back of the room. Start to scissor your legs here and reach your arms up. So tight legs. Engage is gonna make your upper body light. Stretch those arms to the sky. Feel some sensation in that hip flexor. Let's add a little shoulder stretch. Interlace your fingers. Flip your palms to the sky. Relax the shoulders out of your ears. Working towards straight elbows. Let's lower those fingers down. Frame out your front foot and then shift your weight backwards. So you're gonna take your hips over your back knee. Pick up your front toe and bow. This is half splits. So you're trying to get a hamstring stretch. Try to pull that left hip back and then just surrender into the stretch. You're warm, you just worked out. So this is a great compliment to whatever workout you just did. Slowly roll into the foot here. You're gonna tuck your right toes under, charge up your right knee, and then sweep both arms to the sky or coming into a nice crescent lunge. Inhale here, sink an inch deeper in that front leg. Find that sensation. Good. On your exhale, you're going to release your hands to your hips, pick up your back heel, and then plant it to the floor. 45 degree turnout on your back foot. We're going to slide down this front leg, either landing on the thigh, the shin, the floor, the ankle, or blocks. Anything you have here, coming into pyramid pose. I'll just ignore my hair. I should have put it up. Put a bend in your left knee, gazing forward, step your right foot to meet your left. Half lift on that inhale, it's gonna look like a tabletop spine. Exhale, release. Good, root down through your legs, rise up. So little soft bend in your knees. Inhale, take that backwards dive. And then exhale, fold, slide down the legs. Good, let's go halfway up on the in breath. So slide fingers to shins or thighs. Exhale, release. Put a bend in both knees. We're gonna step the left leg back. Stretch it straight back. Square hips, melt your knee. Point your left toes to the back of the room. Start to scissor your legs here so that your hands can reach up. Inhale, fan those arms up overhead. Coming into crescent moon lunge. So even if you're not into yoga, this is gonna be beneficial for you just to hold these positions here. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms, take that shoulder stretch here, relaxing the shoulders. Opening up that hip, especially if you've been running or cycling, this is a really tight group here. Exhale to release as you frame your front foot. You're gonna take your weight back, pick up your right toes. As you bow, start to pull your right hip back. Half splits here. Now, the reason why we're jumping right into some deep hamstring hip flexor stretches is because I'm assuming you're putting this on at the end of a workout and your muscles are warm, ready to go. Start to roll into the sole of that right foot. Really grip the floor with your toes. Tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee and we're gonna sweep straight up into a crescent lunge. A little more energetic than the moon lunge. We're gonna sink down. Find a nice stretch. Good, with your exhale, take your hands to your hips, pick up your back heel and let it come on down to the floor. Turn out 45 on that last, the back foot. Try to square the hips. And we're gonna fold over the front leg, pyramid pose. You can come to your thigh or your shin or your ankle or the floor. Keep a nice soft knee though. We're never locking out those joints. Just bow into that hamstring. Good, with the exhale, put a spring in your front knee. So bend it and step your left foot to meet your right. 
Half lift on the in breath. Exhale to release it. Good, both knees bend, reach both arms up overhead. Match those hands, a little backwards dive. And then exhale, fold into your legs here. You should be familiar, come halfway up with the in breath. And then exhale, release. Bend your knees, we're gonna step that right leg straight back. Swivel the right heel to the floor this time. Line it up with your left heel, so you're coming into a warrior stance. Push through both legs, rise up, warrior one. Square your chest, square your hips. Get a little press and a little stretch in that back leg. A little calf stretch for me. And then we're gonna add some shoulders. So bring your hands to your heart center. Slide right arm on top of left and just give yourself a hug. Like you're crawling your fingers to your shoulder blades. Or you might wrap, you could even push hands together or wrap, come into eagle arms. Bend an inch further into your front lunge. All right, with your exhale, sweep both arms up. We're gonna match the palms over hat and then spiral open to the right here. Come into warrior two stance. Really bend your front knee. Try not to let it sickle inward. Keep it stacked over your ankle. I'm gonna turn to the side for that profile here. We're gonna dancing warrior flow. So just reach your heart forward, flip your front palm, back hand down your thigh, reverse your warrior, chin up off your chest, and then on your own pace, come back through warrior two, and bring your elbow to your thigh. Stretch that back arm up and over, extended side angle. Are you ready to dance? Let's flow. Go ahead and move the way you move. Breathing into and out of the poses, staying low in your front knee. Working that front leg a little bit. Getting a nice stretch through the hips. Limbering up the spine here. Keep flowing. So I'm setting you free. I want you to flow at whatever pace feels good for you. Let's take one more cycle. So one more round through warrior two. It's a reverse warrior. And then back through warrior two to extended side angle. Go ahead and hold it here. Take that top arm. We're just gonna draw some really big circles, like your hand has a paintbrush on it. Open the chest shoulder joint, especially if you just did an upper body workout. Reverse those circles, other way. Smooth and controlled. Think about getting blood flow to that shoulder. Last one. Let your hand find the floor on the inside of your front foot. Pick up your back heel and then heel toe, heel toe that left foot outside of your hands. Runner's lunge. If this is a lot for you today, go ahead and bend your back knee and melt that foot to the, or that knee to the floor. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see that runner's lunge. So active runner's lunge, we're a little more passive. Either way, you're gonna get a great hip stretch here. Engage, lengthen your spine, broaden your collarbones. From here, we're gonna have everybody bend your back knee and uncurl the back toes. We're gonna start a twist. So start to put weight on your right hand and open your chest to the left. We bring your left hand to your left thigh, twist your heart to the left side of the room. If that feels good, stay. Otherwise, you can add by kicking your back heel in towards your glute, back stroke your left arm back so you can catch your foot. I'm gonna turn sideways for profile. You stay where you're at. If you can't quite reach it, it's okay. It took me a while to be able to connect on this stretch. You can always just do a couple little hamstring curls, squeeze it, actively hold it, and then release it. You can use a strap here to hook the foot ankle and make your arm longer. If you do connect, maybe consider kicking your hand, opening your chest. Good, we're gonna exhale to release the back foot. No slingshotting, nice and slow. Swim your arm to the front of the mat here. Turn your front toes out 45 degrees and then tuck your back foot under. Lift your back knee. We're gonna come into a Malasana Yogi squat. Put a bend in your back knee and exhale, spring your feet to the top of the mat. Heels in, toes out, hands at heart. See if you can drop down into a nice hip opener. If your knees are feeling cranky today, you can stay up high. You can sit on a block. Think about pressing your heels into the floor. Opening that heart, especially if you just a leg workout. Great way to open the hips. Slowly release fingers, lift the hips, drop the head, shake it out. Heel toe your feet back to center. Take a half lift on your in-breath, so fingers to shins or thighs. Exhale, release, bend your knees, and root to rise. Come all the way up. Hands at the 
top little backwards dive and then fold. Bow into your legs here, half a lift, inhale. Reach the crown of the head forward and then exhale. Bend your knees. Go ahead and step your left leg straight back, but then swivel your left heel to the floor. Line it up with your front right heel. Push into both legs, let's rise up for warrior one. Stacking your shoulders right on top of your hips. Can you square everything? But press your back heel down. You're gonna stretch that calf and kind of just kind of energize the back leg. We're gonna add arms here. Bring your palms to meet at your heart center. Eagle arms, shoulder stretch. Left on top of right this time. Stack your elbows, crawl your fingers back. You can hold here, this might feel great. You could squeeze your forearms together. Or wrap, fingertip to palm. Find your version of this stretch. Sink an inch lower in your front leg. Getting a nice stretch for the backs of your shoulders. Inhale, fan both arms up. Big circle to the top. Match your palms. And then open to the side here. So you're going to turn your torso to the left. Shoulders over hips. Spread your wings. You're in warrior two. Front knee is not caving in at all. Front foot is active. And Let's dance. Go ahead and stretch your front arm forward. Flip your front palm. Slide your back hand on your thigh. Reverse your warrior. Get a nice stretch here in your rib. And then exhale, come back through warrior two. Stacking your front elbow over your thigh. Reach your back arm up and over, extended side angle. Pressing your back heel into the floor. Let's go ahead and flow at your own pace. So you might go faster than me, or you might go slower than me. You can spend the entire time in one pose if that feels like that's what your body needs. Float quite quickly. I want you to just do whatever you need here. So your practice, your stretch, your cool down, whatever you're using it for. But let's stay on the bottom on this one. So your right elbow on your right thigh. Stretch your left arm up and over. I'm gonna get back to facing you here. We're gonna circle that hand. So like there's a paintbrush on your arm. Good, just big circles. Noticing if one side's tighter than the other. Reverse, go the opposite way. Without any judgment, right? I have a tighter shoulder. Good, one more circle. We're gonna take that hand all the way to the mat. Pick up your back heel, both hands climb inside your front foot as you wiggle it out to the side, morphing your shape here into a runner's lunge. You're gonna pull your front knee in towards your front shoulders. And then option to melt your back knee if you need less. You can go ahead and uncurl your back toes and make this a little more of a passive runner's lunge. Just depends on what feels good for you. Opening up tight hips. Good, let's go ahead and melt that back knee down. So everybody's gonna curl the back knee down and unfold the toe. Start your twist. So you'll plant weight on your outside hand and twist into your front thigh. And if that feels good, that feels golden, stay there. Some of you are ready to add a little bit more. So if you can bend your back knee at all, you might consider adding a little backstroke and maybe connecting with a toe, ankle, maybe a pant leg, a strap, whatever you can find. Without forcing it, so it shouldn't feel painful. Whatever you're holding, it should feel good. Little tension goes away as you breathe. Slowly come out of this stretch. So don't slingshot, let that toe come back to the floor. Turn your right toes out 45 degrees. Tuck your back toe under, charge up your back knee. You're gonna use your exhale and your gaze to focus forward and then spring your back leg to meet your front leg. Lowering down into malasana, hips towards the ground, heart forward, chest open. Pressing with your elbows to work your knees out. Getting a nice hip opener, yogi squat. Take a deep breath here. Framework, release your fingers. Lift your hips and heel toe your feet back together. You can shake your head out here if you need it. We're gonna take a slow roll up. So bend your knees, rag to haul yourself up to the top. Taking your time, head comes up last. Roll your shoulders and release the palms forward. This is Tadasana Mountain Pose. Kind of suction cup your feet into the floor here. Just grip the ground. Find your breath. And now let's find your balance. Inhale, both arms reach them up. 
Lighten on your right heel, pick up your right foot one pound at a time, finding standing staff. Trying to, the goal here is to get your knees to your hip height. Some of you are ready to kick that leg out. Go for that if it's you. If not, don't worry about it. Go ahead. From here, you're going to take that leg, hug your shin into your chest. Give it a nice tight squeeze. Grab onto something if your balance feels a little wonky. Flex your right foot, cross it over your left thigh. Start to sink down, hands to your heart like you're sitting into a chair on this left leg. Now here's a trick with balance poses. Your drishti, you're gonna focus on the floor. A few feet in front of you, pick a spot on the ground. A vertical or a non-moving line is really ideal if you happen to have like tiles. There at that tile line. For those of you who feel pretty open, maybe consider taking those hands up into a goal post or cactus. Open the chest, sink into the leg. you can press up from that standing leg, reach right back up into standing staff, tough pose, okay? You're going to stretch your arms back by your hips, reach your leg back, float into a warrior three as she falls. Gaze down at the floor, tip your body forward, come into like a parallel, reaching that back leg towards the back of the room, reach your hands back, and see if you can tuck that chin slightly, look at the floor. Good, we'll exhale, hands to heart, prayer. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Do a little march here. Nice job. Building some stability. Those legs, those ankles. Inhale, reach both arms up. Stack everything. Start to pick up your left heel. One pound at a time when you're ready. Float that knee. Use your core here. If this feels easy, consider kicking it out. Stretching into a full standing staff. Otherwise, you can keep that knee bent. Lengthen here. Let's take it into our hug. So you're going to hug the shin on that left side. Pull it into your chest. Hold something if you need it. Hold a wall. Hold a couch. Flex your left foot. Let's prep for the cross here. So we're coming into like a standing pigeon pose. Cross over the right thigh. Hands at your heart. Start to sink into your right heel. Little chair. Drop down. Keep that heart lifted. You can stay right here if you're feeling wobbly. You could airplane your arms. Or you could try cactus arms, so that will open the chest. Deep breath here. Get a little outer hip stretch. I have tight hips. Do lots of walking, running, cycling. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, come on up. Press through that leg. See if you can come right back to where you started. Standing staff, fingers to the sky, knee at hip height. Sweep those arms back. Warrior three. Stretch your leg back. Tip, tip, tip. Working on stability. Squaring the hips. Crown of the head to the front of the room. And that other foot stretches to the back of the room. Good. Embrace those little wobbles. Bring your hands to your heart and step your left foot. Let's meet your right. Take a walk here. Nice job, yogis. We're pretty warm. Inhale, fan those arms up. And then exhale. Take your feet a little wider. Reach your fingers behind your back. Interlace. Drop those knuckles to the floor. See if you can squeeze your palms towards one another for a little chest expansion. Soften up the knees. We're gonna fold, lead with your chest. So arch your back a little bit, look up, chin will open, and then allow your head to melt down. Allow your arms to fall up and over. And then bend your knees pretty generously and rest your rib cage on your thighs. Relax your face. Let those shoulders open. Good, let's release the fingers and grasp opposite elbows. Coming into a little rag doll hang so your knees are soft. And then just rock from right to left, massaging out your low back. And that whole back side here. Take an in breath, fingers to shins, lift up, crown of the head to knee. Exhale, release, bending both knees. You're gonna step yourself back into your first plank. Plant your palms under your shoulders. Tuck those toes under. Find a nice long line of energy. Go ahead, one more breath here. Excellent. Let's lower the right knee to the floor and then right hand underneath your face. Go ahead and open up into a gate pose. So your left arm will reach up and you can kick your right foot out to the right. Make a little 45 degree angle on that shin. Gate pose. Go ahead and look at the floor in front of your right fingertips and pick up your left leg. So you're finding yourself in a little half moon balance. Now if that feels challenging, stay right there. Some of you are ready to add. Bend your knee and 
reach that arm back, maybe connecting with your foot or ankle. A small kick here, opening up into a bind. Getting a little stretch in your quad, your shoulder. Good, on the exhale, slowly release whatever you're holding. Swim your hand back to the mat. Tuck that toe back under. Pick yourself up to climb. Palms under shoulders. We're gonna do the other side. So prep yourself, left knee to the mat left hand to the center, kick that left heel out, 45, roll open, reach the right arm up, stack everything. Gate pose, you can stay right here. Or gaze down at the floor in front of your fingers. Find your balance, lift it up. So we're strengthening and lengthening. And if that's still easy, maybe consider a little sugar cane variation here. Bending that top right leg, catching the foot or shin or ankle, and pressing into your hand. Now that makes me wobble. So customize it so you don't fall. Finding my edge of my balance. Release with that stretch, release that hold, and then slowly swim out of it. Come back to your plank. Palms under shoulders. Tuck the toes, glue the legs together, and roll those triceps back. Shift your weight forward, and we're gonna lower chaturanga. Elbows scrape the ribs. Tops of the feet find the floor. Slide your hands back. Little baby cobra, pull yourself up. And then exhale, release. Let's do it again, inhale to reach it up. Crown of the head comes a little higher. And then exhale, release. Good, one more time. Only as high as you feel you comfortably can. Stay here at the top, and then we'll just sweep the gaze over one shoulder, take a little twist in your back. Switch sides, look over that other shoulder. Good, nice and slow controlled, roll yourself back down. Dig those hands in really close to your ribs. Pick yourself up to all fours. Take a child's pose, hips to heels, forehead to the mat. Relax that low back. And now if you have any wrist issues, a good chance to roll off the wrists and open, close those hands. Good, from this child's pose, we're gonna tiptoe the hands over to the right side of your mat. Press your hips to the left. Take a nice side stretch. Good, switch it, other side. Handprint, handprint at a time. And then press your hips the other way. Breathe into that lung. Go ahead, take it through center. Walk yourself through to a tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna go into a cat cow here. So roll your spine, tuck your chin, tailbone down. Exhale all the air out. And then inhale, belly to the floor, chest lifts, tailbone up. Good, do two more. Roll through the spine. You can take your time here. I want you to honor. If you find any part of your spine that's not cooperative, go slow. Last one. Excellent. Tuck those toes under. As you do, really plug your hands into the mat. Lift your knees up. Your head will fall between your biceps. Downward facing dog. Heels are nice and heavy. Plug those triceps in so you can bring your shoulders up into your back. Let's pedal one foot at a time, alternate the opposite knee bends, and then you'll push that heel towards the floor. A nice stretch for your calves. So if you just did a run, this is really beneficial. And if you did any other kind of workout, maybe you did a, like a dance class or Zumba, or you maybe you did a hit or body pump. We're gonna just hit everything here. With that next inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky three-legged dog, and then exhale, right knee in between your hands. You're gonna shimmy your ankle out to the side. Take this into a pigeon pose. So slide the top of your left quad to the floor. Lift up your heart, come high onto your fingertips. And then exhale, bow. Sleeping pigeon, my favorite pose. Melt into your elbows. Maybe you'll stack your fists and make a pillow for your forehead. You should be feeling some sensation right here in your outer hip. If you're finding some biting or pinching in your knee, I want to encourage you to roll over and take this on your back. Do um, the same thing we did in standing pigeon, just do it on your back. Good, walk yourself on up here. Let's try a little mermaid bind. So you're gonna walk your hands to the inside of your right knee and start to bend your left knee. Maybe if that feels like pretty comfortable in this room, swim your right arm up and over and maybe catch, I mean not, it's okay if you don't catch anything. And some of you might even be able to reach both arms back, but I'm not quite there yet. I'm working on the balance, tight hips. You can experiment with kicking your hand, 
or pulling your foot, whichever thing feels like you need it the most, okay? Honor that. Slowly release what you're holding. Come out of it with control. Separate your hands, tuck your back toe under, charge up your core here and float yourself up to downward facing dog. Let your head hang, let your heels pedal if you need a little walk here, pedal out those heels. Side two, left leg, stretch it up to the sky. Three-legged dog, get a feel good stretch on your right hamstring. And then bring your left knee in the center of your hands. You're gonna shimmy that ankle out to the side. Slide your right quad to the floor. And then square yourself. Find yourself in pigeon or half pigeon. So a little lift up in the spine first, and then we'll fold. Sleeping pigeon, fold over that leg. Let the weight of your body kind of help leverage the stretch. You can always rest forehead all the way down on the floor if your body allows for that. The goal here of this class is just to leave you feeling lengthened, leave you feeling better than when you started. Come on up to those hands, push into the palms, walk them to the inside of your left knee. Start to squeeze your back hamstring so that you're going to lift up the heel. Pulling that heel into the glute. Stay there, maybe hold. Or you can swim your left hand back and maybe connect, reaching forward with the opposite hand. If you don't connect, you could just reach for it. That is an active stretch all by itself. Consider maybe kicking your hand, opening your chest more, or pulling it in. Of course, there's the more advanced version where both hands reach back, which, you know, working on it. Work in progress. Exhale, release that foot, control it, separate your hands. Push into those hands, strong core lifts you back up, downward facing dog. Pedal it out so you just had some compression in your knee. Kind of let that blood rush back in. Excellent, soften both knees to the floor, cross your ankles over, and then roll onto your seat here. We're gonna come into Sukhasana, which is just crisscross applesauce. Let's go with the left ankle in front. So cross left shin in front of right shin like an X. Reach both arms up, sit tall, rock side to side, get on your sit bones, and we'll twist to the left here. So reach your arms outside your body, right arm catches the left thigh, look behind you. Gentle twist here, so no forcing it. Good, take the next in breath here, really reach tall, we'll go to the other side. Exhale, twist, grab the mat behind you and the outside of your leg, look off that back shoulder. A good twist here. Good, excellent, come back through the center and we'll take a little fold. Just bow over your legs, heart towards your shins, melt the forehead towards the floor. Good, start your journey rolling back up. We're gonna switch the crossing of our legs. So rock back to your tailbone and switch it out. So the other leg's on top now, right ankle in front of left. So make that X, inhale, fan both arms up. We're gonna take our twist to the right first. So open the arms out to the right, grab the mat behind you, grab the outside of your right leg. Look behind you, sit up tall. Good, inhale, both arms up as you unwind. Get long on those sit bones. You can rock side to side, and then we'll twist left. Catch the outside of your thigh, look behind you. All right, inhale, both arms up. Let's take our fold, hands down the heart center, and some of you are just gonna look forward a little bit. Some of you are gonna crawl, tiptoe. Some of you are gonna fold all the way. Pancake on the mat, whatever you got here. Stretch out those hips and that low back. We're gonna start the journey back up. Walk your hands back up to center. Uncross your ankles. Kick those legs out straight in front of you. Staff pose. If you want to, you can pull the cushions off the couch here and sit on your ischial tuberosities. Really zip up your thighs here so you're gonna engage. And you can always have your knees bent or have one knee bent. Do one at a time. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, take a forward fold here. Get a really good stretch in the back side. Start to melt your heart towards your thighs. Any amount, don't force it. Good, come on up nice and slow with control. Then you're gonna bend one knee, whichever one you like. Chris, we're gonna do both, that's all right. Cross it over the straight leg. Keep the straight foot flexed. Opposite hand's gonna hug that knee and then backstroke the same side arm to a little twist. Look off your back shoulder. Enjoy that hip opener. All my runners, joggers, cyclists, we need it. Open up the knee to the sky here as you face the front. Hands behind you for support. 
you're gonna make like that figure four and then start to lean into your hands, press your heart tall, pull your bottom heel in and just let it land wherever you find sensation. So if you feel a stretch way out here, let it land there. If you need to pull it all the way in to find a stretch, go ahead. But my spine kind of compromises when I do that. So I stopped right there. Deep breath. Good, really slide that bottom leg out to long, uncross your ankles, give them a little shake, shake, shake. We're gonna do side two, bend the other knee, cross it over the straight leg, and then opposite hand gives it a hug, nice tight hug, backstroke for your twist here, grab the mat behind you with fingertips, and look off your back shoulder, try to keep it tall. And then we'll slowly unwind here, opening up for your figure four stretch, and you're almost done. Flex both feet, plant those hands, puff your chest up, and start to slide your bottom heel in until you feel sensation. Not until you feel pain, not until you feel shaking, just sensation. You find a little stretch. You find where it is on this leg. And this might be your more cooperative leg, or might be your tighter leg. Slowly release it, uncross those legs, give them a shake, shake, shake. We're gonna end in Supta Baddha Konasana or cobbler's pose. Soles of the feet together, knees open, some of you might know this is butterfly. Bind those feet here and then tuck your chin to your chest. We're just gonna roll from right to left. So roll your right ear to your right shoulder. And then switch it, roll through the center like you're drawing a semicircle across your chest, left your left shoulder. Good, do it one more time. Roll through the middle, your head's so heavy. Stretch out the neck, stretch out the hips at the same time. And roll through the middle. Left to your left shoulder. Good, through the center here. Gaze back up to the front. Sit however you wish. Take a big breath in, match your hands at the heart. Seal them down to the chest. We'll take the chin into the chest. Close this practice. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me.